Hey everyone, for those who don't know yet, my name is Ken and I'm a hobbyist game developer. I've been doing game dev as a hobby for around 5 years now and it's been a bit over a year already since I started this YouTube journey. I thought it would be nice to look back on this year and look at all the game projects I've worked on. The games I mentioned will be in chronological order and the main project I am still currently working on and have been throughout the entire year, which is Adventure of Tuck, will be the last game I will mention. Let's get started. The first game on the list is An Excellent Escape. This game was made for a game jam called Ludum Dare 48 with the theme Deeper and Deeper. A game jam is basically a challenge in which game developers can participate where they have to make a game from scratch within a certain amount of time. An Excellent Escape is a platformer with stealth level elements. In this game you start off in a scrapyard in which you steal a golden egg. After this you are attempting to escape from an evil robot. My personal goal with this game was to focus on the art and the mood, in which I think I did a pretty good job. I even did some voice acting for this one. Dodge this. The main problem I had for this game jam was basically time, and I overscoped by a lot. I actually wanted to make the game within 48 hours for the compo, but ended taking up an extra day and ended up participating in the jam, which is 72 hours. Overall I was pretty satisfied with the result and I learned a lot from overscoping here. My turret friend is a game made for the Game Makers Toolkit Game Jam 2021 by Mark Brown with the theme Joined Together. This game is a pretty simple top-down shooter in which you are accompanied by a turret, which will help you out. The main mechanic of the game was that you're only able to shoot when you place your turret down, but both has a cooldown when placing it, as it has a timer for how long it is placed. Next to that, you are joined together with your turret through a tether. The main focus of this game was about game feel and I wanted the game to feel extra juicy. I paid extra attention to things like screen shake, particles, sound effects and clear player feedback. The timing of this game jam was a bit off since it was just a weekend before I started a new job and because of this I didn't want to overwork myself and ended up doing nothing art related. This made sure I didn't overscope though and I definitely learned my mistake from last time. The overall feedback of the game was that people really enjoyed it and thought I did a great job on the game feel, which was ultimately my goal. Next up is Bombs Away, a game made in collaboration with lots of other game developers in which we remade Mario Party. I ended up choosing the game Bombs Away. In Bombs Away your goal is to stay on the island while a ship is shooting cannonballs towards the island. These cannonballs can land near the island, which will tilt the island and make it so you slide off or they can land on the island, which will stun you if you're standing on it. I decided this was a good time to practice a bit of 3D. So I hopped in Blender and failed miserably quite quickly and ended up making 2D pixel art sprites in a 3D environment. I actually really dig the look of this game and it's definitely something worth exploring more. Another thing about Mario Party games is that they are local co-op games, so I implemented that with the new Unity input system. And next to that I added some character customization which probably took the longest to implement but I'm really glad I did because I learned a lot about it. I really enjoyed making this game a lot and I absolutely loved the end result. I wouldn't be surprised either if I end up making a full party game from this game. Space Squabble is a game made for Ludendare again. No, it's not the same Ludendare. That was number 48. This was for Ludendare 49. Space Squabble is a game mainly focused on the dialogue between the pilot and the engineer of the ship. At the game starts off with the two getting chased down into an asteroid field where they end up with a broken ship. Here they have to collect scrap and repair their ship through a small minigame. Like I said, the main focus of the game was on the dialogue, specifically a humorous dialogue. I did score very well in this category on top of that, which I was really proud of, especially considering I usually don't really pay much attention to the humor in these games. I kept the scope perfectly small for this game jam and I didn't have to stress myself out a single bit. I think I even finished the game about 4 hours before the deadline, so overscoping was not a problem here. I made a short experience basically which focused on polish, which is greatly appreciated in game jams. The game was also overall very well received, so I'm happy with the end result. Then Bulb Clicker is a game, if you have not seen my videos yet, is a game I have actually not showcased yet on this channel. Bulb Clicker is a very simple idle clicker game in which you collect energy. 
The reason for making this game was to become more experienced in making mobile games. I learned a bit about monetization and the process of actually putting up a mobile app on the Google Play Store. The game is by no needs anything special, but I learned a lot from it in a very short amount of time. And lastly, let's talk a bit about Adventure of Tuck. Adventure of Tuck is a roguelite game in which you play as Tuck. In this game you explore biomes, prevent cute characters, and slay enemies with unique and cool abilities. Adventure of Tuck is a game I've been working on for I think about 3 years now. And Adventure of Tuck also has a Steam page, so if you like what you're seeing here, then feel free to wishlist the game on Steam. I spent most of this year working out all of the systems that Adventure of Tuck will be using, so that it's easier for me to add more content. I've added things in like an in-depth UI system in the form of a book, to which I can add a lot of content easily. I added a wisp system that gives you points that carry on throughout every playthrough. An ability system with, of course, several abilities and even ability upgrades. And next to that, of course, also a way to unlock these abilities. I reworked the level system into something that makes replayability more fun in the form of a card system. I changed up the map generation to make more interesting maps, I've added a tutorial, even made a new biome with unique enemies and a mini boss. So there's actually a lot more I've done that I don't really want to cover in this video, as this video is getting quite lengthy already. I will most likely make a standalone video going back to the first version of Adventure of Tuck and comparing it to what I have now. Overall, I am pretty satisfied with the work that I've done over the year and I've learned a lot through both various projects and the continuous development of Adventure of Tuck. If you like what you're seeing here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video as that helps me out a lot. Thank you so much for watching and as always, have a nice day.